The largest airport in the United States and one of the most bizarre airports in the world, the Denver International Airport. Denver New World Airport was commissioned in 1989 at a cost of $1.7 billion. The airport was finished in 1995, two years late, at a cost of $4.8 billion, roughly $3.1 billion over budget. A marker stone in the terminal reads that the airport was funded by the New World Airport Commission, but there exists no such commission. Many people believe that an underground city lies beneath the Denver airport. Built by the New World Order to house the elites in case of an economic collapse or any other disaster. Driving into the airport, you are greeted by a demonic horse with glowing red eyes. When you get into the building, you are greeted by demons in suitcases and bone-chilling murals that depict an apocalyptic event followed by the rebirth of a new world. As a Colorado resident, I frequently look into this Illuminati landmark. Bohemian Grove Owl Every July, some of the richest and most powerful men in the world gather at a 2,700-acre campground in Monterio, California for two weeks of heavy drinking, super-secret talks, druid worship, and other rituals. The people that gather at Bohemian Grove, who have included prominent business leaders, former US presidents, musicians, and oil barons, are shaping the future of our world, making all kinds of business deals. A clear example in 1942, when a planning for the Manhattan Project took place at the Grove, leading to the creation of the atom bomb. Their main symbol is the owl, around which they perform occult rituals. Their influence can be traced in everything from Washington architecture to GTA 5 to US currency. Year after year within this happy grove, our fellowship and the for space. I'm the levelist which would pursue us here has lost its power under these friendly trees. So shall we burn thee once again this night, and in the flames that keep thine effigy, we shall read the sign that sits on her, sets us free. You shall burn me once again! <laughs> A bronze statue of Prometheus giving humanity knowledge at the Rockefeller Center. The eight-ton gilded cast bronze statue was sculpted by Paul Manship in 1934 and placed above the lower plaza at the Rockefeller Center. It represents the Greek titan Prometheus giving humanity fire, thus enabling civilization to progress. The sculpture stands before the inscription, Prometheus, teacher in every art, brought the fire that hath proved to mortals a means to mighty ends. The Rockefeller family is a prominent player in the New World Order. Their numerous foundations are the major funders of elite policy-making groups such as the Council on Foreign Relations, the Bilderberg Group, and the Trilateral Commission. Do they see themselves as enlightened ones while pursuing self-beneficial plans only? It sure seems that way. The Georgia Guidestones This is the Stonehenge of the United States. A set of ten mysterious guidelines is inscribed on the structure in eight modern languages. And the shorter message is inscribed at the top of the structure in four ancient language scripts. Babylonian, Classical Greek, Hindi, and Egyptian hieroglyphs. In June 1979, an unknown person, or persons under the pseudonym R.C. Christian, hired Elberton Granite Finishing Company to build the structure. One such guideline specifically entails that we must maintain humanity under 500 million. When you see something like this, you really start to think of New World Order influence. The tomb is a breeding ground for America's elite. These guys pump out U.S. presidents left and right along with heads of CIA and CIA agents. Construction on the tomb began in 1856 and was financed by the Russell Trust Association. In 1912, the Bonesmen added two medieval towers creating an enclosed courtyard. The tomb's inner sanctum is referred to as Room 322 and includes a plaque with the words, Who was the fool? Who the wise man? Beggar or king? 
Whether poor or rich, all's the same in death. Inscribed in German, an ancient German proverb that was also used in the Bavarian Illuminati's regent ritual. Bonesmen have also collected various artifacts and paraphernalia, such as gravestones and the skulls of some of history's famous and legendary people. Yale University is 300 years old this year, and were you to visit its campus, you would see that it still has exotic clubhouses, which look like tombs where Yale's legendary secret societies meet. Their prestige and importance have largely evaporated, but the rituals are still a secret. And so when we heard that some enterprising characters had managed to spy on the famous Skull and Bone Society, we couldn't resist. Here's ABC's Dan Harris. The videotape provides a grainy glimpse into what appear to be the initiation rituals of a secret society that's been around since 1832, whose members have gone on to be leaders of Wall Street and the White House the Senate and the Supreme Court. From their perch, Rosenbaum and his cohorts taped the tomb's courtyard. What they captured, they say, was initiates, known as neophytes, being forced to kiss a skull, then members performing a mock killing. EU Parliament. On December 14, 1999, the EU Parliament building in its main tower, called the Louis Weiss Building, was completed. The Louis Weiss Building is meant to look like the painting The Tower of Babel by Peter Bruegel the Elder in 1563. Story says that the Tower of Babel was never completed. So the EU Parliament is basically continuing the unfinished work of Nimrod, the infamous tyrant who was building the Tower of Babel to defy God. Known officially as Liberty Enlightening the World, the 151-foot Statue of Liberty located in New York Harbor is one of the most highly recognized symbols in the world. The statue was a gift from France to the United States. It was funded, designed, and built by Freemasons. The Grand Lodge of New York performed a cornerstone laying ceremony on August 5, 1885. This statue is supposedly inspired by Libertas, the Roman goddess and personification of liberty. But when you study the symbolism and features, you might conclude that this is actually a different deity altogether. It could be Mithras, also known as the guardian of the cattle. It could be Helios, though my research shows that Helios could very well be a repackaging of Mithras. Some interesting connections show that the statue could be the goddess Ishtar and the United States or New York City is Mystery Babylon from Revelation in the Bible. But my research also reveals that the Roman Libertas could be a repackaging of the Babylonian Ishtar. Either way, this Illuminati landmark is too colossal to pass up for this list. Pillars of Hercules Located at Jews' Gate as a monument to the importance that the Straits of Gibraltar has had in the world and continues to have. The pillars appear as supporters of the coat of arms of Spain. It bears the motto plus ultra, Latin for further beyond, implying that the pillars were a gateway. This monument is very similar to the gateway design in Freemasonry, and if we look at the time zone of this monument, we will see that it is located at zero. This matters in the context of the 101 metaphor of the gateway, which we see not only at this monument, but throughout the entertainment world. In George Orwell's 1984, Room 101 is described as the worst thing in the world. So where does this gate actually lead us? Built by the Freemasons, this New York cathedral is among the largest in the world and remains unfinished to this day. That didn't stop it from being featured on the front page of Masonic World in March of 1925. This cathedral is passed off as a Christian church, but it's simply a cover from the mystery religion. There's a pillar on the building where stonemasons have sculpted a chilling depiction of the destruction of New York City and its landmarks. On another pillar, the Brooklyn Bridge is crumbling with cars and buses falling into violent waters, with the Statue of Liberty, which seems to be sinking into the water as well. Beneath this disturbing scene is the New York Stock Exchange, 
with people trading goods around it. Here's the craziest thing. Saint John the Divine is credited for writing the book of Revelation in the Bible, which describes in symbolic imagery the events of the apocalypse. Again, just like the Statue of Liberty, we have a connection of New York to Babylon the Great, the city that gets completely destroyed by the wrath of God in the book of Revelation. This place is littered with many other symbolic works, and there's even a strange annual event around Halloween called the Procession of the Ghouls. Here's a video clip. St. Peter's Square Vatican First of all, the Basilica, together with St. Peter's Square, Via della Conciliazione, and Castle San Angelo, are designed to look like a key, if watched from above. The key represents the famous Solomon's Key from the Key of Solomon manuscripts. The square is also similar to Solomon's Seal. It is also like an eight-pointed star which could be associated to Ishtar, Babylonian god worship. Also, St. Peter's Basilica and Square represent the Orion constellation, while Castle San Angelo represents the ancient star of the gods, known in Egypt as the Star of Ra. The obelisks of the Vatican City and Rome are mostly original Egyptian obelisks, just like the ones found in Paris, London and even New York. It is interesting to know why the heads of the Christians from all over the world are worshippers of pagan monuments and symbolism. There are many more Illuminati landmarks out there, but this is just a quick video to encourage that line of research. Don't forget to add to this list by commenting down below. Thanks for watching.